So first of all, how do you get the MCP server configured and installed? Now, if you have NX console already configured and installed in your VS Code as an extension, you can find it obviously on the marketplace and just search for that there. Then you will get a notification that pops up in your VS Code editor to enable the MCP server. And this will automatically configure the NX MCP into the MCP JSON in the VS Code folder. You now should have the NX MCP server installed as well. Our MCP also exposes the docs because we all know sometimes LLMs tend to hallucinate when they don't actually know how to proceed or they use outdated information based on when they have been trained. So we also expose directly the NX docs, which allows you to do things like, whenever I run the dev command, please add a new task pipeline in the NX JSON that automatically runs the build of all downstream projects beforehand. You can use the NX docs to make sure to see how to configure a task pipeline with NX. And so now you can see it runs the NX docs to figure out basically how to define such a task pipeline. And then it goes to the NX JSON. So let's jump in here. We have here the target defaults. So it ideally goes and updates the target defaults with that. And exactly, you can now see it added a new dev target in here that depends on build. So meaning whenever I run my dev task on my V server, it would automatically build all downstream projects.